Megan said her first thing she got trapped was Little Chapahara. So please just discuss your audition <laughs> and the outcome, dear. Yeah, uh, so uh, from my showcase from, uh, I went to Carnegie Mellon University and we had a showcase like two months before we graduated. And, uh, and that week, uh, they, th somebody from, uh, Craig Burns from Bernie Telsey's office came and, uh, and saw our showcase. And the next day I had an audition for Audrey in Little Shop of Horrors for the national tour. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh my God, this is gonna be amazing. And uh, for the rest of the week that I was here, I was put through the ringer of auditions Exciting. and ended up getting it, what, booked it. And, um, <laughs> and I was that gross about it, no. <laughs> exactly. Um, <laughs> you immediately got a Little Shop jacket. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Megan. <laughs> 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 no big deal, guys. I've got a job when I leave here. So um, gross. No big deal. <laughs> No, I wasn't like that. Um, uh, and uh, I was so excited. I went back to school, and, and they, I was the first person they cast. And, um, and then That's I got job. a phone call <laughs> saying, oh, we found the Seymour. And I was like, oh, great, who is it? And they said, it's Anthony Rapp. And I was like, oh, my god, I love Anthony Rapp. And, um, and uh, they were like, here's the problem. He's a big star, and you're not, and you don't really look age appropriate to play this role opposite him. And so, since he's a big star, we're gonna have to let you go. <gasps> um, yeah, it was really sad. But, um, but so you hadn't signed a contract yet, I assume. No, no, they were working. Oh, that's awful. Yeah, it was awful. <gasps> but then I think Telsey's office felt really bad for me because then Casting they, they called and they were like. Why don't you come in for this little show? You know, it just opened. It's called Wicked. You know, they were having the, you know. And yeah. So instead of an eight month national tour, you got like four and a half years on Broadway. Yeah. So it all, it's all yeah. good. Yeah. <laughs> My life is so hard. Megan, lift up your head. Oh. Wipe off that mascara. <laughs> Here, take my Kleenex. Wipe that lipstick away. Show me your face <laughs> as clean as the morning. I know things were bad, but now they're okay. Cause suddenly Seymour is standing beside you. You don't need no makeup. Don't have to pretend. Suddenly Seymour is here to provide you with sweet understanding. Seymour's your friend. Nobody ever treated me kindly. Daddy left early and mama was poor. I'd meet a man and I'd follow him blindly. He'd snap his fingers and me, I'd say sure. But suddenly, Seymour is standing beside me. You don't give me orders. You don't condescend. Suddenly, Seymour is here. Is here to provide me. I never got the job. <laughs> I understand this. Tell me friend. this feeling I'll last till forever. Tell me the bad times are clean washed away. Please understand that it's still strange and frightening. Okay. Losers like I've been with it's so hard to say. That suddenly.